Sunday. Good morning again from San Marcos here in Guatemala. A couple hours ago, I actually just got back from a nice sunrise hike. Um, a place called Indian Nose, um, which is pretty amazing. It took a tuk tuk at like, I don't know, 4 30 this morning. And uh, yeah, drove for a half hour, then hiked up about a half hour. And it was pretty amazing, sun sunrise, I'm not gonna lie. And a few days ago, I did some kayaking as well out of the nature reserve, which is only about a little over two dollars to run a kayak for an hour, so that was a lot of fun. I'll pop up some of that footage on the screen. So I've been doing a few things here and there while not, uh, you know, working on my own video stuff or, um, you know, working here at the hostel that I'm at. So it's been it's been a, a good good few days, I'd say. I'm heading to a town called San Pedro, which is one of the biggest towns on the island. Just gonna do some exploring today and uh, see what I can get up to. Honestly, I'm pretty tired because I got up at 4:15, but. I think it'll still be good to get out and do a bit more exploring. So let's go. I'm gonna take the boat to get there. Gracias, gracias. In San Pedro. I spent the next few hours exploring the markets and streets around San Pedro with a couple volunteers from the hostel. I was pleasantly surprised with San Pedro. Although some of the streets can get a little busy, there are plenty of hidden gems to be found if you're willing to get off of the main streets. Afterwards, we stopped at a nice falafel restaurant. The views from the surrounding lakeside also aren't bad. Well, that was a pretty fun day here today in San Pedro, my first day here, and uh, I do really like this town, actually. I'm uh, heading back to San Marcos now because I have a 6.30 p.m. shift at the hostel today, um, but it's been pretty pretty fun day. I've been here, I've been here basically all day, had some really good lunch, some good falafel, now it's only 30 quetzales, which is like less than four bucks, so pretty good. I'm going to hop on the... Lancha or the boat back to San Marcos, which is 10 Q, which is less than two dollars, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm back in San Marcos. It's only about like a 10 minute boat ride, honestly, so. Not very far, and again, it only cost 10 quetzales, which I think is about a dollar fifty-ish US, maybe somewhere around a dollar and a half, depending on the exchange rate. Honestly, if I were to compare like San Marcos to San Pedro, they're, they're kind of hard to compare because they're totally different. Uh, San Marcos is way smaller and a bit more of like a kind of like a hippie vibe, I would say. <laughs> And uh, San Pedro is a lot bigger, so there's a lot more options as far as hostels and food and tons of Spanish schools in San Pedro. And I think that most people who come to like Atalan to study Spanish go to San Pedro because there are so many Spanish schools there, uh, as well as homestays and things like that you can do. San Marcos is not nearly as many. So I don't know, like, it really depends on what you're looking for. I think San Marcos is a lot quieter, which I do like the quieter vibe here, but... San Pedro just has a lot more going on and a lot more to do, and I felt like there were a lot of cool little like hidden back streets and alleyways that I could explore, and that was a lot of fun. So I like both. I personally would say I slightly prefer San Pedro, um, even though I'm staying in San Marcos. That's just kind of my opinion so far. If you are planning on coming to like Atlanta, maybe you're looking for someone to base yourself out of. I would just say do your research um, on each town and try and like get an idea of what you're looking for because it really just depends on what you're looking for. The reason I came to San Marcos is because that's the hostel that I found on Workaway. That's where it is, so that's where I came because that's where I was volunteering. But I think I will be going back to San Pedro in the future because I do really like it. I think 
it just has a bit more going on. San Marcos has a bit more of like a chill, laid back vibe, just a lot quieter, not as much to do. So again, it just depends what you're looking for, but just do your research and make up your mind for yourself or just come here and check them both out and, and see what you think. And again, those are only two of the towns on the lake. There are like 11 or 12 or something like that. So there's tons of options, honestly, on Lake Atzalan. It's pretty affordable here as well. It has been a very long day for me. I got up at 4.15 this morning to hike Indian Nose and then went up there for sunrise, hiked back down, came back, did take a short nap today this afternoon, but then I got up and went to San Pedro all day, so pretty tired, and I have a shift at the hostel tonight, so I'm going to wrap up this video here. If you do like my content, make sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment or something just so I know people are watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video from Guatemala. Thanks for watching.